going on guys and welcome to your 22nd jQuery tutorial in which we will be learning about a special thing called jQuery no conflict now many a times when you're working on some big projects then not only you work with jQuery but a ton of other libraries as well so one such library we have is prototype.js now what happens is sometimes there's a conflict that the sign dollar who should use that and which library commands are you actually executing so for example let's say I don't have the script actually ready right now because I'm not that much in prototype.js but oh, let's say uh, we have got prototype.js let's assume I don't have it right here but let's assume and prototype.js has some of its methods starting from a dollar sign and I told you earlier that where's the script uh, yeah so let's say prototype.js also has a dollar sign and I told you that dollar stands for jQuery but prototype in its own library has defined the dollar sign as prototype or any other variable so what happens is now right now what I'm doing here is when we are using just the jQuery one so it meant the same thing but now uh, JavaScript is confused that what uh, substitution it should use for this dollar sign and this sometimes create conflicts so in some instances you would get the jQuery code running usually and in other instances you won't so I've got a couple of fixes for you for this and let's see what they are first of all we have a method jQuery dot no conflict now this method right here would allow you to substitute any of your own variable with this dollar sign so let's say if I create um, variable dollar my jq and I give it a value of jQuery dot no conflict so now I could technically use this variable right here instead of my dollar sign just the dollar sign and here's my window and if I reload this I get the alert box and I got the alert box because this code was considered valid so that's how jQuery dot no conflict work now other thing we could use is to pass a function as argument as jQuery so let's say you have got a function um, my jQuery code and let's say in the argument I pass a sign dollar and down here I would just do body dot hide or body dot show or whatever you want to do with jQuery and all that blah 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 stuff and right here I just simply write jQuery so it would not cause any conflict right now document dot ready function and what I'll do is once our code is ready my jQuery and in the parameter I would pass jQuery as the argument now this dollar sign would when this function would be called then this dollar sign would be automatically substituted by this jQuery variable which has got a very special uh, meaning because it's a constructor function so this code right here is literally same as replacing each of this dollar sign with the jQuery keyword so you could use either of these uh, this would be much cleaner if you prefer or you could also make an anonymous call of function passing jQuery directly to it so these were a couple of methods you could use to avoid jQuery conflicts with some other libraries which are using similar symbols to work with their own prototypes and their own methods and properties and that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you then next time don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching